Jury rules NFL violated antitrust laws in Sunday ticket case. A jury ruled that the NFL violated antitrust laws in how it distributed out-of-market Sunday afternoon games on a premium subscription service. They awarded over $4.7 billion in damages. The damages included $4.7 billion for residential subscribers and $96 million for commercial subscribers. The NFL might be liable for $14.39 billion due to potential tripling under federal antitrust laws. The lawsuit affected 2.4 million residential subscribers and 48,000 businesses in the U.S. These subscribers paid for the out-of-market games package from the 2011 to 2022 seasons on DirecTV. The legal claim argued that the NFL sold its Sunday games package at inflated prices and restricted competition by offering Sunday ticket only via a satellite provider. The NFL stated it would appeal the verdict, expressing disappointment and defending its media distribution strategy as fan-friendly. They called the class action claims baseless and without merit. Post-trial motions, including one to set aside the verdict, will be heard on July 31. If unsuccessful, the NFL will appeal to the Ninth Circuit Court. If damages are paid, each of the 32 NFL teams could face a cost of around $449.6 million. The trial featured testimony from NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. Plaintiff's attorney Bill Carmody celebrated the verdict as a victory for consumer protection. He noted that the verdict upholds protections for the consumers in their class. Carmody highlighted a 2017 NFL memo during closing remarks, showing the league considered a distribution model without Sunday ticket, using cable channels for out-of-market games. The jury, composed of five men and three women, deliberated for nearly five hours before reaching their decision. Any payment of damages or changes to Sunday ticket will be stayed pending appeals. The league argued its right to sell Sunday ticket under its antitrust exemption for broadcasting, but plaintiffs said this only applies to over-the-air broadcasts, not pay TV. Other sports leagues watched the case closely. Unlike the NFL, MLB, NBA, and NHL market their packages on multiple distributors, sharing subscriber revenue rather than receiving an outright rights fee. DirecTV held Sunday ticket rights from 1994 to 2022. The NFL signed a new seven-year deal with YouTube TV starting in 2023. The lawsuit was initially filed in 2015 but reinstated in 2019 after an appeal.